Good morning world. Jay is outside and is hoovering the car. We actually haven't hoovered the car properly on the inside since we bought it and after having two dogs in the car yesterday on our trip to Margate it was in need of a hoover. Lots of dog fur flying around so that is what Jay's doing right now and I am just listing some stuff on eBay to try and clear this pile that has been building up. So that is our morning. These three bags are full of stuff that needs to be listed on eBay. I've got 15 items listed so far, so not doing too bad. You just don't realise or remember how time consuming selling things on eBay is until you're like actually doing it. It's all very good. Oh, I'll just sell it on eBay and chuck it on, but it actually takes ages. <laughs> it's been going on for too long and we just want to get it all done and cleared. Before I do any more eBaying though, I'm going to make myself and Jay a cup of tea. I fancied a coffee, but there's no coffee in the house, so tea it is. I've been going to bed quite late the last couple of nights, so I'm feeling really in need of a proper sleep. I think it was about half midnight, maybe one o'clock by the time I went to sleep last night, and the same the night before, so I need to get some proper sleep in because it's starting to hit me and I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Jay's brother and his wife, Cam and Michelle, who we're staying with right now, in case you don't know, they have gone away for a few nights to celebrate their wedding anniversary. So we are house sitting while they are away. So it worked out quite nicely. We also need to get ourselves organized for our gender reveal baby party at the weekend because it is coming up so fast and we haven't done nearly enough. And I checked the weather this morning and on Sunday it is predicted rain. So that is just perfect because it's a garden party. So fingers crossed for the weather on Sunday, outdoors in the garden and hopefully it'll be nice. Eden is being very lazy and has taken herself back to bed. She has actually been out, but <laughs> has decided more sleep is needed. Maybe she feels a bit like me. <laughs> Hello, are you sleepy? It's okay, you can stay there. I'm still donning my pyjamas of the morning. I never took them off, I just started cleaning the car. Sasha's gonna go out in a minute to meet up with her sister. So I've just made us some lunch, but we had to have different things. Sasha had gluten-free bread with avocado, hummus and salt and pepper. Spinach. And spinach, yes, but you finished it now, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> so I can't show it, but I can show you what I'm making. The avocados are nice and ripe, so I've spreaded that directly onto a tortilla. Cool. I'm going to add the same fillings, hummus and spinach, onto that and wrap it up. I have to admit, when my brother was doing the renovations on this extension on the house, I wasn't here. I've only seen this house when it was in its original stage, a lot of 70s style wood panelling, and they've done a really nice job here of making it feel like a very modern first floor, single floor apartment even. We're sleeping in the spare room at the end, in the living room at the moment, but it's a nice sofa bed. I think they're really pleased with it. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Very modern here. Yeah, such a transformation for what it was before. Yeah, definitely. Right, I'm almost ready to go and see my sister who's staying at my mum's house. She also lives abroad, but she is over in England at the moment, just for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to go and see her. She requested not to be filmed on the vlogs though, so you will not be seeing her in these videos. But I'm going to leave you with Jay today. So I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> more interesting things than a hedge. I'm taking Eden out on a little walk. I also have to post a letter for Michelle. I don't know where the nearest post box is, but I've just come down this alleyway. And now I'm gonna go into a nice big field for Eden. We're in this nice big grass patch, Eden. I'm not quite sure who owns this massive field, but they've got football and cricket areas lined out so people can play. Even though it's massive, I don't intend to let Eden off the lead because there's little gaps you can escape out onto and the roads are just ahead. As many of you may know, recently we've had a few emotional breakdowns 
inside the vlog and I just wanted to relay what happened in response. So many people who watch our videos have sent us their support, sent us emails, Instagram messages, all kinds of contact to let us know some of their own personal experiences that they can relate to. And I just thought it was really nice. I thought it was really special that people can share that side of their life with us. I know we share quite a lot of our life with you guys, so receiving it in return, I'm not surprised by it anymore. After the amount of years that we've been vlogging for and the relationship that we've built up with people that view these diaries of ours, it's just amazing to know that we have a support system out there of people that have never met us and yet somehow they care for us so deeply. So I just want to say thank you for that. I can't tell you how many times we've almost given up on vlogging, especially when you get a lot of negative feedback in a row. It does make you feel like perhaps wasting your time doing these kind of things, but the rewards have outweighed the challenges so far. So we are gonna stick at it. Oh no, 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 no. What was that? Why did you do that? Was there a fox poo? Was there a fox poo? Eden, can somebody tell me why dogs do that? It's just gross. As soon as they smell something really bad on the ground, they just seem to roll their body into it. <sighs> I have to give her a wash. Put Eden's poo in the bin. I'm still on the hunt to find a post box <laughs> for Michelle. <gasps> oh, spider webs. I haven't found one anywhere. When I think back to when I was a kid, I seem to remember there being post boxes on every corner of every street. I'm not sure if they've lessened the amount of them due to risk of people putting things in them and stuff. I don't know, because I can't find any. All right, Eden, we've been walking the streets now for about 10 minutes. I found these nice woods though. I don't know what it's called, but it seems to be a nice little walk for Eden. She's just been sleeping all day. I wanted to get her out of the house. Let's go in here, Eden. Who's made this structure? Hmm? Must have been the scouts. They like to learn how to build shelters like that. I have no clue where I'm heading now. Definitely won't be any post boxes in here, that's for sure. But hopefully we'll lead back to my brother's house. Do you know the way? While I can remember to mention this, do you remember the other day when I did a poll asking people whether we should go seven days a week or five days a week on the daily vlogs? Well, the results are in. And it seems that you guys want us to go five days a week. 70% of you out of 210 people voted that we should go five days a week and then spend a little bit more time making tiny moments cinematic videos on the other days. So that is what we're going to do. The publishing schedule has not been 100% decided yet, but it will be soon and we'll let you know when it officially happens. But thanks for letting us know and we'll get on it. We're back home and we still have no post box. My mum bought Eden these pet deodorising wipes. We're going to use them on her. This clean, yeah. Chuck that in the bin. Done. You're looking a bit wet, aren't you? I'm gonna wet you with deodorising wipes. She also got me these eye wipes too, which are a bit less irritating, I think. You clean your eyes. Don't avoid me. That's Eden all clean. I just wanted to mention that quite a few people were asking us why aren't we moving to Portugal earlier. Now we explained about the landlady doing some renovations on the house. She's pushing that as fast as she can. They're working on the central heating and it will be done at the end of September. We have actually been looking into moving a little bit earlier and perhaps getting down there while Sasha isn't so far into the pregnancy and we are currently still looking for a suitable place but when you're looking for a one month rental things get very expensive on Airbnb and other websites that might do a single month or hotels, they're just too pricey and finding a pet friendly place is always an issue especially when you're only dealing with one month so that's why we haven't made that decision already but we are currently searching for that as an option i just got a message from sasha saying she's coming back to come and get me so we'll be heading out for dinner soon 
but I haven't seen Eden for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go and sneak up on her, see what she's doing. Here's her chewy bone and the bed is empty. So she must be upstairs. This part of the house is still unfinished. So there's still a bit of work to do. But I do believe Eden might be in the upstairs bedroom. Slowly does it. There she is. Isn't that nice? She's next to my childhood toy. This is what I was talking about in the vlog about Margate. Had this for almost 30 years. Oh, did I wake you? Talking about my seal. <laughs> You're a good girl, aren't you? You're just very lazy. Sasha's niece and nephew are also going to be at the dinner tonight with her sister, but they're also not going to be in any of these vlogs. Like she said earlier, they live abroad and so they've never met Eden in person before. So I think that would be nice. You're going to be a good girl today, around the kids. Started off with rain this morning, but now the sun is out. I am finding that the English sun is not quite hot enough to dry the clothes quickly. So I have been chasing it down the garden for most of the day. Eden's making a home for herself on the grass. Claiming the smells. I do love watching her wander about like this. I'm wondering what she's going to be like when she gets to Portugal and gets to wander around her own garden near the lavender bushes. She seems to be enjoying this temperature though. Not panting. We are trying to concentrate on the bigger picture and thinking about our move in the most positive way. I do think it's the right move for us and we can't wait to get to Portugal. For those of you that have been commenting and saying that the vlogs have been a bit dull here in the UK because we're not doing anything, do understand that we're not really at a financial stage where we can go out every day in the UK. It's very expensive. We lost quite a bit of patron support when we left Thailand, which we expected because most people were supporting us because we were in Thailand. That's understandable. Oh, Sasha's just got home. So if you do want to see us doing a lot more in the UK and when we get to Portugal, do consider becoming a patron. It isn't something that's required, obviously. We're still going to make videos, but if you do want to see us doing more interesting things, then think about it in that way. My beautiful pregnant wife has arrived. Hello. You're in the glass. Let's let you in. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's hot in that porch. Is it? <laughs> like a greenhouse. Yeah. Hello, Eden. I've been very excited, Mum. Very excited. Really? Yeah. About, yeah. about you coming home. Oh. Yeah, that's because nice. I don't like Dad on his own. <laughs> he bore, He bores oh, me. Oh. You still got your bone. Yeah. Daddy was boring me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Look, Mummy's home now. You showed her your bone already. You've made a big fuss. <laughs> hey, Mum, I've got something to tell you. Today, I rolled in fox poo. Yeah, Daddy had to wipe me with a deodorising wipe. Did you give me a full bath? No, he washed me off with a wipe. Oh, I think I need a bath. It was quite wet, this, this, this wipe. <laughs> to be fair. No, not the poo. The poo wasn't wet. <laughs> the deodorising wipe was very wet. Yeah. What did you do that for? I don't know, Daddy, you you? Daddy was filming me and I went, drop! <laughs> Despite Eden's deodorising wipe session, we, <laughs> I am actually going to go and give her a bath because my sister said my little nephew asked after Eden and we're going there for dinner tonight and it's been oh, about five years since he's seen Eden, must be. And he asked, he remembered her and he asked if I was going to bring her to dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to go and freshen her up and make Eden look her best for my niece and nephew. Hey? I look my best now. <laughs> I look quite good. So yeah, she's going to get a bath for now. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> but before I go and give Eden her bath time, I'm just going to sit down for a minute. I have to do a lot of driving. <laughs> Baby is kicking right now, so I'm just enjoying that. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and end the vlog here, so please go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe. Subscribe to these tiny moments as well, and we will see you tomorrow.
Bye. Bye. Right, I make a tea. Mint tea. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Yeah.